Okay, so it's generally acknowledged that the Hull White model 2004 is one of the more uh, substantial models for pricing employee stock options, and that's recognized by a large weight of the literature. Sivendik, Fiener, Sapatero also uh, reference uh, Hull White. One of the downsides with the Hull White approach is that it uh, nests in a, a barrier type specification. And barriers typically trip up uh, speedy convergence, and that can be a problem. We deal with that by incorporating in um, a boil load type specification. Um, if we go, if we download the paper and uh, go to um, the appendix at the end, one relatively fast way of just incorporating in our specification, we have a number of specifications. One specification is the boil load specification. And we also uh, developed a model so that it's optimized and that the memory is used efficiently. Uh, we also truncate the model. So we take out the zero region and the barrier region. At the end of the appendix here, we have three snippets of code. One that has the traditional hull white uh, two dimensional static tree. It's a bit slow. In fact, it's quite slow and it has the salt tooth type uh, conversions properties because we don't have boil low. So that's kind of a, a very basic implementation of Hull and White. And then we have VBA code, which I'll talk about in a moment, uh, but does have boil low specification and has these nice truncation features. And we also have dynamic memory specifications. And then the last snippet of code is C++ Hull White 2004 mended for boil low barrier and optimized to perform the truncation and we make use of this dynamic memory which is very important the dynamic memory uh, means that you don't have to store the entire tree you estimate sections of the, of the tree and then you pass the values back in the backward induction so if we copy this code we can directly put into a c++ compiler and then we can observe we can just take the parameter values that are set out. So at the end here, we have a number of parameter values. The values, in fact, that I include in um, also uh, are the same as the values, the parameters specified by Civentic, Wiener, Zapatero. Okay, so um, I'll just copy that code. And then a handy one here is to go to an online compiler uh, for C++. So one of the online compilers that I occasionally use is this online GBD and it's the C++ compiler. And what we can do is we can just take this out and we can paste, right? And that looks okay. In fact, it's been copied directly over without any major issues. It's formatted and that's brilliant. Sometimes, if it doesn't format properly, your best bet is to go into um, a Word document and then do the formatting there and then transfer the code over. I neglected to put in um, um, a bracket here, so I'll just put that in now. Right. And uh, so we have this uh, roundy brackets that are included in. Now, uh, again, the values here that I have, 100 for S, 100 for K, T is 10 years, the vesting period is 2, the interest rate is 6%, the sigma is 20, the exit rate per annum is 4%, and the multiple at which early exercise occurs in the post-vesting period is 1.5, and we have 500 steps in the tree. So I might just increase the number of steps here to 5,000. And then what I could do is I could go and take a little look at Civentic, uh, Civentic values, right? So they, they, we might look at where the estimation for true is set out. Okay, so again, the values I ha have in the uh, C++ code are intended to mimic the, the values that I, I have here so I might just redimension the, the tree a little bit and just pay attention to the value so again 100 time 
exercise 100, the T, the maturity of the option 10 years, the vesting period is 2, interest rate is 6, the volatility is 20%, so we have that somewhere, volatility is equal to 20%, the no dividend in this instance, exit rate is equal to 4, so the, the people leave early, uh, leave their employment, that can mean forfeiture, it can also mean the option gets exercised early in the vesting period, post-vesting period, and then multiple of, you know, we're saying that if the stock price goes uh, 250, so 1.5 times K, then the option will exercise early. Okay, so we have 5,000 steps, and um, the true value here is to, to 278551. How close do I get to, um, with 5,000 steps, how close do I get to 27855? Well, if we use the uh, a basic Hull White model, um, the estimation would be 280327. With this particular model that we're using, with truncation and boil O specification, when we run the estimation here, let's see what happens. Now, 5,000 steps is rel relatively substantial. We get 278535. 278535, which is relatively close to, if we can go back and check, is relatively close to what Civintic Wiener Sapatero tell us is true. Okay, so we have a relatively, given it that it's in C++, can, I, I had a specification here for recording the time. It took, again, there is some latency because this has to go to a server, I think in Atlanta, and then come back. But the estimation speed is 0395677 seconds. So I'll just run that um, again and just check. Okay, 27838535. Now, typically, if you were to do that uh, without dynamic memory, uh, the speed time would be substantially higher, right? So the amount of time taken to run the estimation. Uh, we're also very fortunate that when we were developing this paper, we contacted uh, Svi Wiener, who's one of the authors of the paper I mentioned, and he gave us a range of true values. Okay, so we have a table here in the, the let's just check, yeah. So what Svi provided us with, we, we indicated that we wanted to just check the robustness of our particular model. And Svi Wiener, Professor Svi Wiener, he gave us true values where you basically, if we took the original parameters he had set out and then changed one of the specifications, just one alone. So if we change the interest rate, we change the volatility, if we change the dividend rate, the exit rate, multiple, we would have values for true. And so, for instance, we can go back then to our online compiler and change the multiple from being 1.5 to being 2. And we should get a value of 349973. Okay, so let's just go back and go to where the parameters are specified in the C++ code and we're going to change the multiple that's the point at which early exercise occurs so that becomes 2 it's 2 on its own right so delete and then just put in 2 okay and we we will rerun the compiler and we get a value here of 34996 and let's go back to the paper 34997. Okay, so not exactly the same, but not too bad, and you will find substantially better than the performance of the whole white model uh, if implemented without boil low specifications. Um, again, we can check a little bit further. Let's go back to what if the exit rate was 8%. Now, typically, if the exit rate increases, it means the option is less valuable, and the cost of issuing the option uh, it should be less valuable. So we go back, we can change the specification from the multiple here from being one, 
uh, from 2 back to 1.5 and then remember we're going to push up the exit rate so that means employees leaving the company early let's change that to 8% right so the all else being the same the option should be less valuable let's run let's run this code did I run that okay so it's now compiling running and we get a result back 2470 let's check the true value 27 2473 okay let's just try one more here what's the stock price is 120 all else being equal the value of the option should go up okay so we change the exit rate back to four percent so that okay so zero four and then what are we adjusting we just adjust the stock price to 120 one to 120 okay so the stock price has gone up exercise same all else being the same the value of the option should increase um and it does goes up to 39.51 the speed here is impressive right that's I mean, one of the striking things here in terms of the estimation is the speed is uh, really fast um, and if we compare the outputted value so the ESO price using our different specifications for boy low and for truncating the tree right um, we have 39.51.26 and the true value uh, reported to us given to us uh, by Svi uh, Wiener also 39.51 so th these true values if you like were generated by um, the Civintic Wiener Sapatera model they have a closed form solution the big advantage of their model is you're also likely to get impressive speeds the downside of their model but perhaps not really a downside just the uh, the, the the model is takes up about 16 pages of um, mathematics whereas we try to intuit more directly from the original whole white model uh, a binomial framework and we just add in we just slightly tweak the whole white framework so that the binomial tree is just more performative and that we get this accelerated uh, speeds that are really quite impressive we get a, a reasonable level of accuracy so the accuracy is not pinpoint but we are within two digits if not three digits of accuracy relative to true we can do it at 5,000 steps that that's not too bad the big improvement that's introduced is coming in terms of boil low and then there's another element of speed improvement that comes in the form of adjusting the, the code so we take into account couple of things the main thing that we're taking into account in terms of the estimation is in our specific uh, in the C++ code that we use we truncate off we eliminate this part of the tree so that goes out we eliminate this part of the tree we truncate this part of the tree this is a zero region so it doesn't zeros having a zero or another zero that ultimately once we have established that it's a zero region it's not having any effect here once we have the zeros covered here we're not getting any additional impacts by changing values here so we can truncate out this area and this area we're left then just with the blue region to calculate in the tree and then the vesting period also has to be uh, worked out right um the in the vba when we estimated our different models the the static there's uh, with VBA code we also get relatively um, substantial improvement in estimation um, it takes about with a dynamic truncated hull white model it takes about 15 we estimated that it takes about 15 seconds uh, to estimate a 5000 step tree and that was with a, a Dell latitude E5470 and it was um, a core i3 processor so not the top spec of processor but perhaps something that typically accountants would have under in under um, uh, desks and um, again it's not as quite as fast as the C++ code but still doable and for an accountant trying to estimate maybe a whole range of employee stock options um, 
the, the VBA, the accelerated VBA code also would introduce some improvements here. 